This is Business Rockstars. I'm Brittany Whitney, and my guest today is Danny Wax, CEO of Four Links. Danny, thanks so much for joining us today. Thank you for having me. So for those who are not familiar with you and your entrepreneurial journey and what kind of led you to start Four Links, give us some background on you. Well, I'm born and raised in Los Angeles and have a father who is an entrepreneur. So I always dreamt of building a business of my own. And when I went to University of Denver, we would always buy this multi-mountain ski pass that allowed you to go to any mountain whenever you wanted. And I always thought that something like that should exist in the golf space. So after I graduated, I played professional golf for three years and ultimately used that experience to find some of the opportunities and some of the pain points that lied within the industry. Mm -hmm. And from there, uh, came back home, hung up the golf clubs, and started a business of my own after uh, you know, working for a tech company and started to kind of focus on blending my passion for technology and my passion for golf to start Four Links. Amazing. And what was the first step you took after you realized you were really passionate and serious about starting Four Links? The first step was finding some kind of mentors who had been, in, had been an entrepreneur or started a business of their own and used them as a resource to pick their brain and figure out kind of where to start, how to start, and use that as kind of the building blocks to start my own business. And then obviously kind of came up with the idea, the name, uh, trademark, you know, kind of go right. through the process of forming a business mm -hmm. and then went to market and ultimately paid close attention to what the early adopters were saying and used that to kind of evolve into what we are now. So what is Four Links and why did you create Four Links Points? Four Links is the best way to play fantasy golf in book tea times. And the Four Links point system was built with two things in mind, our customers and our business. It allows our customers to have ultimate flexibility over their schedule and their budget. And an example of that is Saturday morning tea times are going to be more in points than Wednesday afternoons. And a private course is going to be more in points than your local muni. And our business with the points allows us to control our unit economics and also get more creative with our marketing strategies. And what kind of makes your company unique? For us, I would say it's the user engagement cycle that makes us unique. We have a unique opportunity where people can watch PJ Tour events, win points, and then use their points to book more tee times. That's great. And what made you decide that you wanted to launch a fantasy golf platform? About a year and a half into launching the point system, we did a large audit on our user behavior. And from there, we saw that our average user was booking about three tee times per month and collectively spending about two minutes on our site. So we wanted to find a way for those users to engage with our brand in between their rounds of golf. And we thought that the point system was that perfect vehicle to kind of enter the gaming space and differentiate our platform. And did you ever have that fear of failure when you were starting Four Links? Um, and kind of how did you overcome that? I mean, we all have the fear of failure, and I think it's more about embracing that fear mm -hmm. and using the opportunity, or really using the fear and the mistakes as opportunities to evolve and grow your business. And who is Four Links' target audience, and how have you grown kind of a community? Yeah, so our target audience is the avid tech-savvy golfer. And we have a variety of features that allow our users to connect with each other in the member portal. They can see who's playing where and when. And we also use a private Slack channel to create a community where our users can connect with one another, discuss upcoming tee times, schedule meetups, course conditions, or just general golf-related topics. How did you get all of the um, courses on board? It started as a very you know hand-to-hand -hand combat effort. We would go directly to one golf course, come to them, say, hey, we want to be an extension of your marketing strategy. We're going to help deliver new rounds and revenue to your facility. And I would say the first year was all about getting enough courses on board, was anytime you build a marketplace, you need enough inventory to create enough value for someone to sign up. And through that, we just evolved into having those conversations with higher level management companies who operate 10, 20, 30, 50 golf courses. So it went from speaking directly to the course operator to more management level conversations. And how is Four Links positioned to help grow the game? We're the only platform that rewards people for the more they play and watch golf. And through that, we have a unique opportunity to incentivize people to come and join the sport or increase frequency amongst people who already play. That's great. 
And in your opinion, what has been the most effective way that you've been able to reach your audience? I would break that up into kind of two categories. One, organic efforts, and two, paid efforts. And from a paid effort standpoint, Google AdWords, hands down, has been the most effective. You're able to capture high intent traffic who are searching keywords like tea times in Los Angeles or fantasy golf. And then from the organic effort side, our referral program is the strongest form of a, our way to get in front of a, our kind of core audience. And what was the biggest obstacle or challenge you faced when you first started Four Links? Positioning the company in a way that spoke to our value propositions because there's nothing like us that exists in the golf industry right now. So kind of getting through that hurdle of identifying exactly who we are to customers to understand you know, the Four Links business. And what challenges are you facing as you're growing your business? I would say that the golf industry is unique in the sense that everyone wants a very validated product. And a lot of industries, people tend to focus or gravitate towards the startup. And in the golf industry, it's who are you backed by, who's sponsoring you. So I would say that the adoption has been a little slower than we would have liked in the early stages, just being people need to get familiar with what we're doing. And you're married, you have a baby. How is your work-life balance with running a business? <laughs> work-life work -life balance has been really a tough uh, kind of battle for me, but it forces you to be more efficient with your time. You know, I'm working at different hours than I ever did, late nights, early mornings, but it kind of puts a, uh, a new sense of urgency on your work, and, and it, uh, I don't know exactly how to sum it up, but yeah. I would definitely say it forces you to be more efficient with your time is the biggest takeaway. <laughs> yeah. And how big is the Four Links team? So right now we have three full-time W-2 employees, and we have six contractors that we use very regularly. And how have you kind of grown? Because a startup culture is small, it's a mighty team. How do you foster your company culture and help it to grow and help your business to succeed? I've definitely kind of preached an all hands on deck approach. And I want every person on our team to feel accountability for what we're building and a sense of pride in it. So I don't ever see us getting away from that startup environment, as I think that's what kind of people thrive on in these early stage companies. And how has it been like being your own boss and that transition from being, you know, an employee to now be having employees? Well, coming from a professional golf background, I was, I've always been my own boss. Right. And I've been able to kind of manage my own time, set my own schedule. So it's nothing new to me ha starting my own business. And that's been, you know, uh, an upside and definitely a benefit and also something I can bring from my past experience to what I'm doing now. And if you could go back in time and give your younger self a piece of advice, um, what would you tell yourself? I would say that it's really important to set specific milestones and hold yourself accountable to those because in the early stages, it's really one of the only ways to measure success as you're growing. Absolutely. And where do you see four links in the next five or 10 years? Over the next two years, our focus is growing from a regional product to a nationwide business. And in five years, we really want to roll out a variety of fantasy contests, as well as in-game betting, as we think golf is one of the best sports to offer in-game betting, as the pace of play between shots is so unique versus a soccer or a basketball. So you know, we see Four Links providing the opportunity to kind of elevate fan engagement on the way of betting on every single shot versus just a single round or a tournament-wide contest. That's so interesting. Well, I'm so excited to see where Four Links is in the future. And thank you so much, Danny. Well, thank you for having me. This is Business Rockstars. That was my amazing guest, Danny Wax, CEO of Four Links.